Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll show you how to add a dating page into your app. The dating page allows users to create a profile and connect with other singles finding somebody to date, flirt, or chat with. Let's see how it's done. Go to our no-code app building platform. If you have already created an app, log into your account and go to manage and edit to add a dating page to your app. If you have not yet created an app, click on get started to build your app. Here we'll show you how you can add the dating page to your new app. First enter your business name here and click on next. Then enter the purpose of your app here and click on next. Based on the app purpose you mentioned, the system will add certain pages to your app. Now click on save and continue to finish creating your app. Once you have selected the desired pricing plan and installed the app, all of our features will be unlocked. Click on start editing to add the dating page to your app. If you see that the dating page is already added to your app, click on it. Otherwise, click on view all, search for dating, and click on the page to add it to your app. The existing app users can add the dating page into their app in the exact same way. Now let's take a look at everything you can do with the newly added dating page. This is your page name. If you want, you can change it to fit your needs. From here you can change the page icon. If you want, you can select a solid color or an outline for your icon or even an image from our library or your own custom image for your own icon. You can even upload two different images for a mobile app and a website. Now let's move on to the dating section. In the dating link field, enter the Firebase data URL. Click on the information icon here and follow the tutorial on how to set up Firebase database for enabling chat in your dating app to get the database URL. Copy and paste it into its respective field. Now copy and paste the auth domain and API key into their respective fields. Next comes payment settings. Here you will see two payment methods, free and in-app purchases. By default, the payment method is set to free. If you want to enable in-app purchases, select the option. Now you need to provide Android and iOS payment credentials. Click on the information icon here and follow the tutorial on how to activate in-app purchases to get Android payment credentials such as monthly and yearly subscription package ID, one-time payment product ID, and public key. Then copy and paste the keys into their respective fields. Now click on iOS payment credentials information icon here. Follow the tutorial on how to activate in-app purchases from the iTunes store to get iOS payment credentials like monthly and yearly subscription package IDs and one-time payment product ID. Copy and paste the keys into their respective fields. Now enter the monthly, yearly, and one-time payment price that you would like to charge your users and select the appropriate currency. Let's check out page style and color scheme. From here, you can change the app page's background. If you want, you can choose a background image from our library or go with a solid color as the background page. You can even upload your own custom image from here. If you want, you can use the same image for both portrait and landscape modes or upload a different image for each. Next comes the dislike icon. If you want, you can change the icon image, click on it. Select the specific image icon from our wide library or upload your own custom icon image. Once done, click on save and continue. Now let's move on to the like icon. If you want to change the icon image, click on it. Select the specific icon image from our wide library or upload your own custom icon image. Once done, click on save and continue. If you want, you can also change the page elements like color, font style, and font size from this section. Next comes the navigation settings. If you want to enable a back navigation button, on the header, tick mark this checkbox. 
Once done, click on Save and Continue. That's all for now. Stay tuned for updates.